<laughs> the NBA is going to try to do their little season in Orlando. They're catering to these. They are the super elites. Mm. And I'm sick to my stomach. They're going to let them see Black Widow. Take a look at NBA this. NBA is attempting to have its players and immediate family reconvene in the now closed Disney World in order to finish out the season and or playoffs. That's what led to this report yesterday from Kevin Smith. He's an NBA writer and insider. He tweeted out, per Walt Disney sources, Disney will make movies available for players and their families once they join. This is likely to include movies that have not been released to the general public, including Marvel's Black Widow. He then goes on to say that outside entertainment could also be brought in. Those details are being negotiated with the NBA, and this could include bands, DJs, and comedians. Now, at first, when I read this, this was almost a non-story to me. We got to know that Disney owns ESPN, too, so they're losing as much money as the rest of these leagues. And if they can find a win-win by offering some exclusive entertainment to sort of entice these players and families to come finish the league down in Disney World then it's their choice to do so. This actually caused outrage, however, amongst some self-proclaimed industry insiders that, by the way, aren't really industry insiders at all. They're actually just put up by a corporation saying that this was an elitist move. I'm not sure that it's an elitist move. I just don't think it's a good move. And quite honestly, I'm not sure that they would do this. And let me explain why. All it took was about 10 seconds for me to step back and think about how many players and how many players' immediate family members could be involved in this undertaking. We're talking about hundreds, if not thousands. Then you think about the secrecy with which Marvel shrouds all of its projects. If you go ahead and release Black Widow to thousands of people, and even if they sign NDAs, you're telling me that not one NBA's player's kid is gonna say anything about this movie to their friends, and then all of a sudden, months before this movie comes out, you have the real possibility that the entire film would be leaked. Now, I don't know about Kevin Smith as an NBA industry insider, but given what his Twitter situation looks like, like being near 100,000 followers himself and the companies he works for, you have to think he's not just out there tweeting nonsense erroneously. So if there is some legitimacy to that, that means that Marvel Studios is definitely considering it. It just seems like it would be such a misstep. Yeah. So, Larry, I wouldn't even get a good flying care if they let the NBA see it. If they also release it on Disney, that's my only gripe. You've got this, you've got access to a service where maybe you could charge someone who doesn't have Disney Plus maybe a certain fee to get it, someone who already has Disney Plus a different fee, and let everybody see it. We're all stuck at home with nothing to do but protest. Let yeah. us see it. Release it. Stop this foolishness, man. <laughs> and like you said, we have, who is really planning on going to the movie theater in November. Yeah, I don't know who they think is going to go to the movies, but I, I, I think that and nobody think, going to the movie. Like I, 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 if they're gonna, if they're gonna have these, these, these guys and their families held up at Disney World or wherever, and and they're going to play out the entire season, you know, in this one location. I, I get why they, I get why they would do that. I mean, because you want people to to you want people to stay there. You want people to look forward to actually staying in this little, in this little enclosed, you know, hermetically sealed environment where, you know, where they can watch exclusive movies and not have to worry about going out and and trying to see stuff. Because the reality of it is, you're going to have people in there who are going to be locked up for for weeks on end. I mean, if you're if you're LeBron and you're talking about trying to bring your family you have teenagers teenagers don't want to be locked up i mean i mean there's I, i'll tell you right now my god i wouldn't want to be in there to see all kinds of craziness that happens all these little teenage rich kids running around getting pregnant and doing drugs and acting up and all the other stuff they're going to be doing if they're in there together but i have no problem with it i guess the the biggest problem i have with it is like the guy in the video was saying is that how do you think you're going to keep all this stuff private? I mean, you have these, you have some of these, these kids mm -hmm. that are, mm -hmm. that are legitimate, legitimate social media influencers. Like they may have gotten their, their hundreds of thousands or millions of subscribers or followers because of who their dad is. But regardless, they still have them. They still have that platform and they still use it. And I can tell you right now, I don't know how you expect the kid to sign an NDA and not say anything. You can get him to sign it, but he'll say something, you know? 
So, I mean, I feel like if you're going to, like you said, if they're going to show it to all of them, like maybe they show it to them on Monday and then on Thursday, they need to release that movie. You know, <laughs> that's basically. Release. It, yeah. Release. Release. Yeah, especially yeah. what happens if they show it in the movie's ass? What if they show that? If they're building it up, they keep pushing it back and they show it to them. And, and the general consensus among them is like, oh, this movie's terrible. Like, what if you get one of these big influencers that one of these kids Wait. that's 15, 16, and he's up there and he starts tweeting saying, oh, I was looking to see Black Widow or my mom or my dad dragged me, drug me to go see Black Widow. And the movie was terrible. And they dog it. I mean, that's a, I mean, that will speak volumes, especially if you don't have other critics out there who have already seen it to refute that. I mean, that's hey. risky. I, I don't know if I do hey, that. Hey, man. I don't Wait know if a I minute, do that. man. Wait a minute, man. This movie, Scarlett Johansson in it, right there is already a six because of her, because of her pure acting talent. The movie's already at a six. There's Maybe no way the thing is gonna suck. That's number one. I don't think. But it's number gonna two, suck. it's not gonna suck. It's not gonna suck. It's not gonna <laughs> suck. But that still don't make it. If you're gonna let somebody see the product. Mm -hmm. Let people see it on Disney Plus. Let them pick the product, man. Because yeah. we're in the same situation these NBA players are in. And they might not even have the NBA down there because some of the players are saying they're right because they're demanding more things come out of this movement that we're having with Black Lives Matter. So then what you going to do? I guess you just won't yeah. show it to nobody, huh? I but guess not. Nobody going what... to the movie theater, Marvel. This is what Disney should do. Disney, I think, charges right now like $9.99 for, or excuse me, $7.99 for their service. I think what they should do is simply just raise the price. They should have two tiers. They should have the $7.99, which is regular price, the, what they offer right now. And then they should have like Disney Elite or something like that, where they show all the regular stuff and then they show all the first run movies. So you're going to get all the, the Black yeah. Widows and the streaming thing of Hamilton and, and, and you know, the, the New Mutants and all the other stuff that's, that's going to be coming out. They should have just a little bit higher tier so that they're bringing in more money and they don't have to feel the pressure of, of, of trying to have a theatrical release. You know? Hell, I pay, well, the problem, I pay, I pay the like $12.99 for is, it. The problem with that is I'm sure they've got contractorial obligations to the theaters that they have to show it in the theater. I'm sure. Yeah, They've but they have like that in place. They probably but, do have contracts, but you but acts of God in a pandemic is considered an act of God oftentimes will 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 uh, relieve people from their contractual obligations. We'll see. We'll see. Marvel release it on Disney Plus. That's all we got to say. That's what we got to say. <laughs> all right, Larry. All right, man. You know Here what, we go. Sean, it's Tesla you know what? time now. Before before we go to Tesla time right quick, uh, Sean Green in the comment section was mentioning about bring Miles Morales. He says that Tom Howard is uh, Holland is terrible uh, for Spider-Man. And I saw somewhere that they are talking about doing a live action Miles Morales. So I don't think that's that far off. I think that's going to be in the future. I think it's just a matter of when they can start getting uh, getting started filming again. So I don't know how far that off. And if I if I if I see that again, you know, I'm often scanning for new stuff to talk about. So next time I see it, I'm going to make sure to send it to Lamont so he can hopefully put it on the roster for one of these shows. But I, I'm I'm almost certain that that that's actually uh, in the works.